what's up guys so as you can see I am now in replay mode I thought I was recording this game live but probably after my second or third kill it stopped recording and I wasn't aware But for this video, I'm going to be going over all the in-game changes. So as we can see here, Pleasant Park has now changed to Doom's Domain, I believe. I forgot the exact name of it, but Dr. Doom is now the boss in this area. And there's some new structures and a larger building to the side that I will get to in a second. There's also been a whole slew of unvaulted items including the silent submachine gun, the pump shotgun, traps, boogie bombs, and more. There's also a whole bunch of new floppers. This includes like a thermal flopper that gives you thermal vision. A flopper that makes you run faster. And there's also been... As you'll see here in a little bit, the uh, combat shotgun is also now in the game, but it is extremely bad. It only hits for like 10 to 20 damage on average. So I end up going with the pump and get an easy kill because he hit me for like 20 when I just one shot him. So there are currently no new shields in the game. It's mostly actual weapons. There's also new mythical items. All the mythical arms from last season have been vaulted and there's like superhero based items now like for example there's a Groot ball where you can turn into almost like a baller and it makes you invincible to damage and it's good for escaping the storm or just escaping a bad fight and then with Dr. Doom he's got like slime gloves that like shoot the green lasers that explode on impact and he's also got like a green energy ball that he can throw to damage people and i do end up killing the guy who has them here in a little bit so you'll get to see gameplay of that very shortly So here I was playing quite overly cautious. I thought this guy was better than he actually was. <laughs> and that right there is the new fire trap. If you step on it, it'll do 50 damage immediately. and it'll also burn stuff around you. Which will do 10 damage over time if you're currently standing on a burning build. As you could see that guy hit me with the combat shotgun and it did practically no damage point blank. That's how it pretty much always is. You're consistently going to be hitting like 20 damage shots. So I recommend just picking up any other shotgun over that. One thing I forgot to mention is that there is a new assault rifle in this game. 
personally I haven't used it yet but what I've seen of it is that it's a very slow firing high damage assault rifle almost like the AK would be. Personally I don't see myself using it because I prefer faster weapons but that's out there for those of you that want to use it. See, you can also, that's the guy that has the mythical weapons, and you can also use the, uh, you can use them to fly. So here first I test out the, uh, energy ball, the mystical bomb. And that does 60 damage on impact to a player. And this one, the flying has a cooldown on it. I think it's probably something between 5 and 10 seconds. It doesn't tell you specifically, but I definitely prefer this one, or this mythical item. And as you can see, I do some damage with it later in the game. As you can see, the uh, jump boost from the mythical item also prevents fall damage. So if you need to get down from a build fight, you can use that to get down really quickly. You just have to rem remember that you have to activate the jump. And bandage bazookas have also been unvaulted. So that right there was Groot's mythical item where you get the ball that can protect you from all damage. And now I'm in a 1v1 position. And I also want to add that this was my very first game playing this season, which is probably why the lobby was so easy for me. Because skill based matchmaking wasn't implemented too hard yet. That's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.